primary and secondary alcohols can be oxidized with chromic acid to yield carboxylic acids and ketones respectively. PCC is an alternative oxidant that converts primary alcohols to aldehydes. Chromic acid is typically prepared in situ from chromium trioxide or sodium dichromate in sulfuric acid. Under these strongly acidic conditions, chromic acid can be protonated by sulfuric acid to activate one of its hydroxyl groups as a good leaving group. The attack of an alcohol then displaces water from the protonated chromic acid molecule. After loss of a proton from the oxonium ion, a chromate ester is formed. Water then removes a proton from the chromate ester. The electrons of the breaking carbon-hydrogen bond collapse in between carbon and oxygen, forming a carbon-oxygen pi bond. This oxidizes the carbon of the substrate. As this happens, the oxygen-chromium bond breaks and those electrons are placed on chromium as a lone pair of electrons. This reduces the chromium. Finally, a pair of chromium-oxygen pi bonding electrons is moved onto oxygen so that it holds the formal negative charge. In this instance, a secondary alcohol was used as the reactant, so a ketone is the product. When the substrate is a primary alcohol, the beginning phase of the mechanism is identical but the oxidation product can react further. As expected, this reaction will begin with the formation of a chromate ester when the primary alcohol attacks chromium, displacing water. The oxonium ion loses a proton and the chromate ester is formed. This chromate ester then undergoes a comparable oxidation reduction process to yield an aldehyde. However, the aldehyde cannot be isolated. It is merely an intermediate in the reaction of a primary alcohol with chromic acid. Under these conditions, the aldehyde will be converted to its corresponding hydrate. This occurs first through protonation of the aldehyde oxygen. Then, water attacks the carbonyl carbon, displacing the pi electrons onto oxygen, thereby neutralizing its charge. Finally, the new oxonium ion sheds a proton, yielding the hydrate. The hydrate has two critical components that allow it to undergo a second round of oxidation. It possesses nucleophilic hydroxyl groups, and it also possesses one more hydrogen on the carbon bearing those hydroxyl groups. One of the two hydroxyl groups can attack chromic acid, yielding a new chromate ester after the loss of a proton. Then, the one remaining proton on the reactive carbon is removed by water. The electrons from the fragmenting carbon-hydrogen bond collapse in between carbon and oxygen to form a new carbonyl. The chromium is reduced and pi electrons are displaced onto oxygen. The product is now a carboxylic acid. That is the final reaction product of a primary alcohol with chromic acid. If the aldehyde is the desired reaction product, then different conditions must be used for the oxidation. PCC, or pyridinium chlorochromate, is an oxidizing agent that is very similar to chromic acid. However, PCC can be used in anhydrous conditions, meaning without water. Without water, 
no hydrate is formed, and no further oxidation of the aldehyde can occur. In this specific example, isopropyl alcohol, a secondary alcohol, is the reactant. It initially forms a chromate ester when it is treated with chromic acid. The subsequent removal of a proton from the secondary carbon incites the oxidation reduction process. The electrons from the carbon-hydrogen sigma bond collapse in between carbon and oxygen to form the carbonyl of acetone, the major organic product of this reaction. As this occurs, the oxygen-chromium bond fragments and pi electrons are displaced onto oxygen. Notice that this reaction product is a ketone because a secondary alcohol was used as the substrate. In this next specific example, ethanol, a primary alcohol, is used as the substrate. It too forms a chromate ester upon treatment with chromic acid. The first round of oxidation of this primary alcohol substrate yields an aldehyde, specifically acetaldehyde. However, in this instance, acetaldehyde will not be the final reaction product. It can react further. In the presence of water, acetaldehyde is converted to its hydrate. The aldehyde oxygen is first protonated. Then, water attacks the carbonyl carbon, pushing the carbonyl pi electrons onto oxygen. The new oxonium ion sheds a proton to the medium, yielding the hydrate. This hydrate is then capable of forming a new chromate ester. One of the two hydroxyl groups will attack chromium, displacing water as a good leaving group. The oxonium ion sheds a proton, and the new chromate ester results. This chromate ester then fragments upon loss of a proton. As the carbon-hydrogen bond breaks, a new carbonyl is formed. This is the carbonyl of acetic acid, the final organic product of this reaction. Notice that a primary alcohol substrate has yielded a carboxylic acid product when treated with chromic acid. If acetaldehyde were actually the desired reaction product, then ethanol would need to be treated with PCC instead of chromic acid. Under these anhydrous conditions, oxidation would stop at the aldehyde, yielding acetaldehyde as the final reaction product. Recall that acetaldehyde was merely an intermediate when chromic acid was used. In summary, Primary and secondary alcohols can be oxidized with chromic acid or with PCC. When a primary alcohol is the substrate, treatment with PCC yields the aldehyde. But treatment with chromic acid yields the carboxylic acid instead. On the other hand, secondary alcohols have only one proton on the alcohol carbon and therefore only one round of oxidation is possible. So secondary alcohols yield ketones regardless of whether they are treated with PCC or chromic acid. Tertiary alcohols possess no protons on the alcohol carbon, and this makes oxidation impossible under these conditions. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback format from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.